Hi everyone, this is a straight W video for our paper, Effective Named Entity Recognition with Boundary Aware Bidirectional Neural Networks. The task of Named Entity Recognition is to find and classify the type of a named entity in text such as person, location, or organization. It is well revealed as a fundamental problem in natural language processing and serves many downstream applications such as entity linking, relation extraction, question generation, and co-reference resolution. NER is typically modeled as a sequence labeling task, where each word in a sentence is assigned a special label. In recent years, many neural-based NER approaches were proposed as end-to-end -end sequence labeling low model. In general, these approaches can be classified into four categories according to their decoding architectures multi-layer perceptron with softmax, conditional random fields, recurrent neural networks, and pointer networks. Applying a multi-layer perceptron with softmax as a label decoder layer, the sequence labeling task is acting as a multi-class classification problem. The label for each word is independently predicted based on the context of dependent representations without taking into consideration of its neighbors. Conditional random fields is a random field that is globally conditioned on the observation sequence with recurrent neural networks as the decoder layer for labeling tasks. This network structure serves as a language model to greatly produce a sequence with the traditional sequence to sequence structure. Pointer networks uses the attention mechanism as a pointer to select one of the words in the input sequence as the output. Although these approaches are currently the state-of-the-art techniques for NER, they still suffer from one or more of the following common problems in NER research. 1. Boundary text sparsity. 2. Lacking of global decoding information. and 3. Boundary error propagation. The problem on boundary text sparsity is due to the semantic nature of natural language, in which entities are rare and non-entities are common in a sentence. The lack of global decoding information is a common problem in existing encoder-decoder architectures. The problem on boundary error propagation occurs when pointer networks-based decoders are deployed for the NER task. In this paper, we propose a novel boundary aware bidirectional neural network called BNN, which integrates a sort of techniques for tackling the problems that occurred in recent neural based NER approaches. The proposed model is operated as follows. First, each word in the sentence is mapped into its embedding, and the input encoder encodes the embedding into a context of a representation. Next, the entity boundary detection deploys bidirectional decoders with boundary aware binary classifier to detect entity boundaries in two different directions via the pointer mechanism. Then, the entity trunk generation generates candidate entity trunks from the bidirectional decoders. Finally, the entity trunk classification classifies each candidate entity trunk into the corresponding entity type or non-entity with the boundary retaining strategy. Note that as entity boundary detection and entity trunk classification share the same encoder, we apply multitask training when training the proposed BIPA BNN model. Given an input sequence as a pre-trained word embedding, a character level word embedding, and a word feature embedding of candidate as the word embedding. We consider the word feature with four types of characteristics. One, all capital characters. Two, starting with a capital character. Three, all lowercase characters. And four, all digit characters. After that, the distributed references of the word embeddings are uh, fitted into an encoder with bidirectional LSTM to compute the hidden sequence. We have adopted the pointer mechanism to sequentially detect the boundaries. 
Specifically, we first pad the hidden states at each of the input encoder with two essential vectors at the first and the last positions. Then, two LSTMs are employed as the right decoder and the left decoder to output the decoder hidden states HR and HL, respectively. To obtain global binary features, we use a binary of classifier on H to predict whether the current word is a binary or not. Next, we generate a feature representation for each possible binary position I at the time step J. We introduce three strategies for entity trunk generation. Naive, it simply chooses the entity trunks that are formed from the right decoder. Intuitively, the right decoder is more natural in language processing. Selection aware generation. It merges all the candidates entity trunks for entity generation. However, based on empirical findings, the performance is not very good. Therefore, we keep the entity trunks from the right decoder and select the entity trunks from the left decoder that have partial trunk overlap with the right decoder. Context of wire generation. In order to capture the contextual information, we concatenate the hidden states from HL to HR as the new hidden state to generate the entity trunk from the right decoder. We use a STLTM network to obtain the representations of, of entity trunks. Then a multi-layer perceptron and softmax functions are adopted to predict the types for the candidate entity trunks. We apply a multi-task loss for trying the BNN model. We evaluated the proposed model on three benchmarks datasets, including Colin 2003, WNUT 2017, and the JNLPBA. The table presents the statistics of these datasets. We evaluated the proposed BNN model against the following baseline models. From table, when comparing with models, Without using any language models or external knowledge, we observe that our model outperforms all the compared models in terms of processors, recall, and F1 scores, and achieves 0 0.59, 3.15, and 2.43 percentage improvements on F1 scores for the calling 2003 WNUT 2017 and the GNLPBA datasets, respectively. Also, we observe that but BNN CG achieves the best performance when compared with but BNN naive and but BNN SG. It is because the bidirectional decoder in but BNN CG has fully utilized the contextual information to generate more accurate entity binaries. When pre-trained language models such as Elmo and BERT are incorporated, all the models have achieved better performance results. It is consistent with the performance results discussed early on comparison with models without using any pre-trained language models in this section. To show the importance of each component of our proposed model, we conduct an application experiment including bidirectional decoder, boundary-aware binary classifier, and the boundary returning strategy. We can see that all these components contribute significantly to the effectiveness of our model. As our BA BNN model is constructed on top of the pointer network's architectures, we compare the performance of our proposed model with pointer networks. We observe that the proposed BA BNN model consistently outperforms the pointer network's based model in each group. The difference gets bigger when the number of entities in a sentence becomes larger. We classify the current neural-based NER approaches in four main categories and identify three major problems encountered by them. We propose a novel boundary-aware bidirectional neural networks, BNN, which integrates a suite of techniques, including 
the pointer network's mechanisms, boundary aware bidirectional decoding, and the boundary returning strategy. In order to tackle the current NER problems, these techniques benefit each other from the sharing of information with multi-task training. We have conducted extensive experiments on three NER benchmark datasets. These experimental results have shown that among the state-of-the-art methods, our proposed BNN model has achieved the best performance. Thank you.